speak on the behalf of the, our father. I would like to thank the committee and brother, and also brother Nick, for giving me a chance to stand in front of you this morning. The title of my sermon is, God is willing to give us power. Acts 1 verse 8 says, But ye shall receive power after the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses both in Jerusalem and in all Judah and in Samaria and into the uttermost parts of the earth. Now let's bow our heads and close our eyes for prayer. Turn, turn off your phone because the Lord wants us to focus. Be reverent in the house of the Lord. Then, Heavenly Father, thank you for your love and gracious mercy. Thank you for giving us the chance to be here and stand in your presence. In Jesus' name I do pray. Amen. The verse says, then you will receive power. What does that mean? That means God gives you power that wise man on earth cannot do. God gives you the power to do it. But you must be connected with your father. You must, con you must stay connected. You must sanctify yourself and you must stay pure. Young people, we must always be in prayer and in unity for us to have what we're looking for. For the, Open your Bibles to Acts 2, verse 1 through 4. And the day of the Pentecost was fully come, and they were all in one accord, in one place. Suddenly there came a sound of heaven rushing as a mighty wind, and it filled the house where they were sitting. And it appeared to a cloud of tongues as a fire, and it sat upon each of them. And each of them were filled with the Holy Ghost, and began to speak with other tongues. And they gave, and the Spirit gave them utterness. They were all in prayer and in unity, so the Holy Spirit came upon them. So when we're gathering together in unity and in prayer, that's when the Holy Spirit will come down on us. Now, turn your Bibles to Acts 3, verse 1 through 9. Now Peter and John went to gather at the temple at the, at the hour of prayer the beginning of the ninth hour. And a certain man lame from his mother's womb, who they laid daily at the gate of the temple, which call, was called beautiful, to ask for money of them who entered into the temple, who sing Peter and John, because when you have the Holy Spirit in you, you have, you have the um, transformation of your face and your body to someone like a prince or a princess, who seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple, asking for money, Peter vanishing his eyes upon him with John, said, look on us. And he gave heed to them, expecting to receive something. Then Peter said, silver and gold I have none, but I such give I give thee. In the name of Jesus Christ of the Nazarites, rise up and walk. And, and then he took him by the right hand and lifted him up. And immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength. And, and he stood up, walking and entered into them with the temple. And all the people who saw him walking, praising God. Amen. So you see, when the Holy Spirit enters you, you become powerful. Amen. When you speak, things happen. Amen. Only, only, the only, only by words, but with actions. Not only by words, but with actions. Me as a young person, I've seen many miracles when I go on mission trip with my father. I saw a blind lady, blind, but now she praises God because when the church was all gathered and praying together, she received her sight. So young people, stay connected, stay in prayer, and sanctify your father. And... 
and also be in unity and make sure the family is praying together because without the family praying together, there is no blessing going around. Uh, may God bless you and happy Sabbath.